Hello and welcome to another episode from Ken's Training. Today's training, what it is going to be on is how to remove uh, moths from a kitchen pantry. I've been dealing with moths now for uh, about uh, a week to two weeks in the house. This here is the uh, pantry right here. Uh, that, uh, that is the, 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 what I'm dealing with. It's, it's this one here and this one here. And um, so what happened was we saw some moths in there and we uh, opened it up and searched around, tried to find some. I found a bag of rice that had some moths in it, threw that away. I found some convection sugar where it was like a milk carton uh, and it was closed up, but they had gotten in there, threw that away. And um, there was uh, one other, oh, um, cornmeal. There was a box of cornmeal uh, that had the lid taped closed, but they still got in there, and, and uh, so we threw that away. I haven't found any more moths in the rest of the food items that were in there. Then, then what I did was, is um, I went, th I've been through, uh, dealing with this a couple of times. So the first time I went through, I uh, uh, opened up the doors and then I removed one shelf at a time and then cleaned that shelf with uh, 409 and then I and when I cleaned it I cleaned the ceiling the two sides the back wall and the bottom of each shelf so I would clean I would remove all the products of one shelf then I would clean the one shelf put all the products back and then do that with, with all the shelves there is a total of one, two, three, four shelves. So I would do that, and then, um, and then I figured I'd uh, cleaned up uh, any nesting or anything like that. Uh, next day, open up the door, moths. So then um, uh, I got sick of that. So then what I did was, is I set up a temporary table, took and removed all the product from the pantry put it on the temporary table and then I used this product here so it's just uh, ammonia put it in a spray bottle with a, a one part ammonia to um, nine uh, ten parts of water so uh, ten to one ratio and then cleaned the entire pantry top to bottom ceiling sides back wall everything and then did not re-put the product back in and I still have moths. So I'm going to now show you inside there. All right, so here we go. Open up the stores here and right there you can see three of them. Uh, let's see, there's one right there and there is one right there and there is Hold on. Sorry, another one over here. Right there. There's still yet another one. So that's three on the top shelf right there. Now this uh, also, we've got this section. I clean that one out 100%. And look, there's a moth right up there. There's nothing in here for these guys to eat. So, you know, I'm uh, sitting here going crazy. There's another one flying around right there. There is he. There he is. So I got that one there flying around. Um, and then you got the bottom shelf there. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this product here, which is just a, uh, a sealant, a caulking, if you will. Um, and I'm going to put this uh, on. And I'm going to put it in all of the... Uh, cracks and crevices. As an example, right here, you'll see along that back how there's a big gap right there. So I'm going to uh, put the put this caulking in here, and I'm going to seal up all of these areas uh, here, all all the way around here, and uh, and along all of the uh, corners of the cabinet. So let me just pan back here so I can show you. Okay, so this is one example on this shelf. Now these shelves are adjustable, although I gotta admit, I'm very happy with the height of them. So I don't necessarily wanna seal this, this here or along the back, just in case one day 
I decide I want to change the height of the shelf. But I am going to seal this, the back panel to this here uh, uh, um, amongst the entire cabinet. So I am going to, uh, to do that. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to use this product which I saw on the doing some re, some searches for how to get rid of them I'm going to use some vinegar I'm just going to, I'm not going to dilute it and I'm just going to spray it on there and I'm going to clean uh, every single uh, cabinet alright this is just to give you a camera demonstration on how thorough I'm cleaning the cabinet so here's a, one shelf right here to give you the example I got vinegar in here spraying the ceiling back wall side wall and the shelf itself and then I'm just starting at the top making sure that I get get it all super clean and then do the side walls and if there's hinges I'll get on top of the hinges all the way around the hinges like that all right finish this side wall up right here and get the back wall Now the bottom shelf. Mind you, this is the third time I've done this because <laughs> I've been doing this with other products, but just I've been just coming up unsuccessful here. So, anyways, that's an example. I got three more shelves to go, and then I'm going to do the cocking. All right, I wanted to show you this. I there was these uh, plastic uh, decorative. Uh, covers over these uh, clips and oh, when I pulled it off this is what was behind the clip there it's like um, I don't know like uh, moth droppings or nesting or maybe even larvae I don't know but I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna clean that off right now one other thing about the um, ammonia not the ammonia the uh, the vinegar boy that stuff stinks I'm glad that project is to a close. Okay, so I got a little bit more though. I got to clean off just these hinges there before I put the caulk in. Okay, I just finished uh, caulking the entire cabinet. I took off the two top the two top doors because I wanted to show you that I even caulked this seam right here. That's right between here and this lip. There was a small gap there, and let me do a zoom up on that so you can see it. Right there, you can see how I just totally sealed that joint right there all the way across um, and then here is the let me zoom back okay so starting from the top uh, I went and got in the entire deal all the way around and um, so I went and did all that and then on this, uh, on the, around the hinges, I even went all the way around the hinges. Now, so as an example, on this back wall here, so that you can see this whole thing right here, I did here all the way down, here, and here, and the same on the opposite side over there. I went all the way around the hinge and inside here to seal up any little gap that was right there. Now, I, uh, I just did this one cabinet right here. And I started with one tube of caulking. This, now let me show you. This is how much is left on that tube of caulking. I mean, I, I used up probably, I don't know, 70% of this tube of caulking, or 75%, or, uh, I'd say at okay, least. Okay, welcome back now. It's the following day. And now we're going to see uh, what type of uh, activity we have inside the uh, pantry cabinet. Now, Okay, nothing there on that shelf. Uh, moving down here, uh, actually I see th three of them. One right there. 
one right there and another one right Okay, I'm here to give you an update on my moth project. So I talked to a uh, pest control uh, expert and they told me that the moth balls that I was using are for closet moths, not for pantry moths and they're ineffective. So the moth ball theory that I was trying, apparently that doesn't work anyways. Um, the uh, glue traps that I set out, I was successful. I caught two in each, I'll show you those. I, the, when I was talking to the expert, they told me what you really need to do is find the source of the of the um, the moth nesting and to look in grain products uh, and uh, oatmeal. And I eat oatmeal for breakfast, uh, so I have oatmeal. So um, the only s place where I found potential nesting was in my oatmeal box. Um, so I'll uh, I'll show you that. And then uh, show you. I still have some moths inside of the the pantry here, and I gotta. I I mean I'm dying to get my kitchen back to normal, so I'll show you that right now. Okay, here is the moth trap above the stove where I put one there, and hold on. I know I can see it, but you might not. There's two of them right there that were caught. So there's two in there. So that one worked on the table here uh, inside of here you can see that I've caught two of them one there and one right there my little homemade trap with the brand has done a whole bunch of nothing so that's did not work um, now inside of the uh, pantry here on the top again no food or anything is in there. It's completely empty. You know, I sealed it all off. There's one right there. And there's another one. I'm going to get those sucked out with the vacuum today. In the bottom section here, uh, there's one. So that makes three in total. Four. Uh, uh, nothing there. Hold on. Let's check this down here. I saw another one. Yeah, right there. So that's uh, five. Five in total right in this. Right okay, here. welcome back. Okay. Um, back from a day at work and I've opened up the cabinet here and there are seven moths in there right now. And I gotta tell you, these moths are driving me crazy. Alright, here you go. I pulled out all the shelves. I'm going to go in there and uh, reseal that up. Here is my uh, my Ziploc bag. Here's a put it against the wall so you can see a contrast. So I caught one, two, three. I caught five of them, and I'm just going to leave them there as uh, for a sample in case I need them to identify that. Now, where the shelves were located, I left the shelves in place before, uh, but where the shelves were located. There, so there's a like a gap like this. I'm going to clean this up with my utility knife, and I'm going to recock it so that every single thing here is completely sealed. Now, one thing that I did, one thing that I noticed when I pulled this up, is that hole right there. That hole was sealed up. At least I thought it was sealed up. I'm going to get that again real good right now. So. It seems like the source is coming from this cabinet somewhere in the crevices. So I'm going to go through this one more time and then hopefully I'll get it this time. So here we go. Oh. We just lost the star of the show. Hold on. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> there you go. And that one over there is Milo. Just hanging out. Alright. Let's go back to our uh, closet project here and show you what I've done. All the shells have been removed 100%. I re-cocked uh, the entire uh, area just to give it a really good seal. So I went through all the joints, retouched them up, and it should be 100% good 
there should not be any leaks in here cracks crevices anything so there's completely no moths in here I'm going to shut the doors and try that and see how that does for the evening all right welcome back <coughs> tubes here we go opening up the cupboard just been gone a few hours and look there's one moth right there and coming down into the lower section here and I know I saw one in here earlier hold on a minute uh, I thought I saw one in there but I don't see them now alright so anyways I think I found the source I'm gonna show you them in a second let, I, uh, let me show you what I believe the source is and my bad the source is going to be these things see not that one there but look how there's something right there so let me let me dissect this thing and let's see if there's anything inside of it there's a couple of them up here too there's one right there whoops and up there right there looks like there might be something alright so anyways let me get this thing on a tripod and we'll dissect one of these I think that's my area that I kept missing I got all the cracks and crevices real good but I didn't get these pinholes and I didn't think they'd be in there so let's take one apart okay so here we go I'm gonna try to get this so that you can see it as the audience as best I can let's uh, see if there's anything inside of this hole Oh. Okay, I lose focus when I go in too tight. Hold on. Let me see if it'll focus in on my hand a little bit there. Oh, no. The camera just loses focus. Okay, it's the best I can get you. All right, let's see what's in here. Wait a minute. Is that anything? No, that's just a... That's nothing. Let's see if there's anything else in there. No, there's nothing in there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Let's try this one up here. I just saw a moth right there. I don't know if I'm killing him while I'm doing this. Alright, here's the stuff that I'm pulling out of the little holes. It's definitely some type of a moth larvae. So this is this is this is my problem. And I overlooked it before and that is why I am continuously um, why I had to keep back, come back here and revisit this. So basically I'm going to now go through each one of these holes plus the hinges really really well. Right there and right there in this entire cabinet all the way up and down I'm going to go through this really really well and then I'm going to spray everything with the white vinegar and I'm going to try that. If that doesn't work I'm going to put caulking in these holes and seal them up so that there's no way nothing's going to be there. But first I'm going to try white vinegar. Alright, so what I'm doing is first I went through each one of these holes that's in these pinholes with the screwdriver to pull out if there was any remaining uh, uh, larvae nesting material in there. I tried to get as much out with the screwdriver. Now I'm taking my vacuum cleaner like this and I'll give you an example. I'm going through the hinges here and all the holes like this. I'm going to go ahead and do the whole cabinet that way. Then once I get done vacuuming out all these holes, I'm going to get some spray white vinegar, spray each hole, saturate each hole, and dry everything up really well. That should completely kill 
anything that's in these holes. So that's where I'm at. Okay, so I've already gotten done vacuuming out all the holes. That's all completed. I've got in here pure 100% vinegar, and now I'm going to go through each one of these holes and let me show you exactly how I am going to address that uh, as an example. I'll show you this section right here. I'm going to take this, squirt that in, and then just wipe everything down. So I'm going to saturate everything with 100% uh, pure vinegar and I'm going to go through the whole cabinet that way right now. So that's what I'm going to do right now. The shelves were becoming too much of a pain so I had to go through and remove all the shelves again. So I just did that. One other note that I want to make on the uh, hinges as an example I'm going through each of the hinges like this. All the way around just making sure that it's 100% clean. So I'm going through all the hinges as well. So I just wanted to show you that step there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the holes uh, right now. Okay, so where I'm at now, I've completely went through each one of these little peg holes with a spray of pure vinegar and, and, a, and a rag. Wipe is sprayed in each hole, cleaned everything down. I'm going to leave the shelves out of the closet for the evening. I believe there's uh, I just want to let it go like this for overnight again to see if I'm going to catch anything. But as far as I know, that was the source. That was the smoking gun. And I believe that I finally have killed them. But time will tell. So now i got to give it overnight, check back tomorrow, and see what we have. But right now I want to try to let this air out and dry. So I'm going to leave the doors open for now. <laughs> Okay, here we are. It's been overnight and there is absolutely nothing in this closet. I finally believe that I found the source and that the source of my problem was a combination of a couple things. There was food and then they ultimately went inside of these um, holes which is to adjust the shelves if you want to. But by using the vinegar, pure vinegar, that seemed to um, stop them and uh, there's no more going on there. Now as far as the traps go, I did catch uh, two more in this trap that's up here. I can show you that. Alright, so here you can see two on that side, two on that side and nothing on the one on the table here. The one on the table is still the same where I caught just the two uh, nothing there on the other side. So I'm just going to leave the, the ones on the table there for a while. But uh, at this point in time I feel pretty confident that I can go ahead and put my shelves back, put my food back, and I finally got my kitchen back to normal. So uh, in to recap the, uh, the situation here with the um, uh, pantry moths, using the um, the mothballs, that was no good. So that was, a, I guess, a silly uh, thing because that that's meant for closet moths, which apparently are a different moth. So that was a poor suggestion. And then the <clears throat> second thing is, was really finding the source of the gnats. I mean the source of the um, pantry moths. Now, I removed all the shelves and then I went through and went through all the trouble of caulking all the corners and sealing them up really well. But at that point in time, I didn't pay close enough attention to the hinges, which I should have been more detailed on the hinges, cleaning them with the pure vinegar solution, as well as these holes. If I'd have done it on that try, it uh, would have saved me that extra step that I went through uh, because I didn't do it on the first go around. So um, anyways, that's it. I'm going to leave the, the uh, glue traps out here for a week and see if I capture any more adults that have circulated. But as far as I know, as far as the... The, uh, the, the larvae and the root, the root source of the problems, I believe that's gone at this point in time. And uh, so that concludes the video. And uh, if you like the video, you know, please give me an extra like uh, by hitting the like button down below. And check out my uh, YouTube uh, video uh, channel, which is called Ken Training. And that's it. Thank you for watching.